Hi, this is Deepen Gogoi, Technical Analyst of Allies Blue. So this video I am going to talk about crude oil and you can see this is crude oil 4 hour chart. First, let's check it the trend, right? First thing we have to find out the market trend. So first criteria I am going to use here trend line. Uh, but you can see this is previous lower point and the lower high and lower high right so i want to connect three most important point here have you seen so let me connect this previous lower point i just connected a previous lower point have you seen this is a previous lower point and this is previous lower point and the lower point when i connect three point we have seen here market just broke this trend line right so once they broke this trend line so we confirmed that the trend just changed previous you can see market was in uptrend now according to trend line uh, breakout strategy so trend just start in a downtrend right so first we clear so we never take only one confirmation we need at least two to three confirmation whatever either either it is a trend or this entry point or exit point and support and resist resistance whatever we need at least three confirmation first confirmation we passed here so the price just broke this trend line that means the trend uh, downtrend uh, began right sorry downtrend has begun right now let's check it next the method according the next method is uh, price action method have you seen this was previous higher point and created new low and they are not able to create new high and they create a new low and uh, this is you can see lower low right now you can see according the price action method they create a new low here right so that means it is creating lower low right now price are giving a retracement right when that uh, that means when the price is creating lower low lower high like lower low now price always give a correction right so that point we have in that case we have to find out the resistance line resistance line right so we are looking for here a resistance line so criteria number two according to the price action method the price is running in a downtrend right so next we have to find out the moving average so basically i use moving average 150 this one blue and yellow when yellow is a 50 moving average right this is 50 moving as and this one 150 moving average right 150 moving average all are exponential remember i'm using so when uh, 50 moving average staying below the moving average of 150 it is confirming it is a downtrend so right now you can let see here moving average 150 this one blue and yellow this one have you seen right now exactly uh, near this what called uh, they are forming a resistance around 3950 uh, still running in a downtrend so according to the three confirmation price is running in a downtrend right now thing is that in a small time frame price is running in an uptrend that means uh, this is uh, like a four hour chart they are running like that in a um, downtrend creating lower low lower low lower high now we are looking for next the lower high point and in a small time frame they are running in a uptrend right now in a small time frame they are creating a higher high have you seen this is higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high so from this area in a small time frame it is running in a uptrend right so that means in that case we have to find out the resistance line in a large time frame right so that is the resistance line so we have to find out the resistance line so how we will find out the resistance line remember so you can see here lower point here again i just connected lower low lower low and the lower low right i just connected this lower low 
and uh, similarly this was a trans channel i use this trans channel right so why i'm not uh, placing there so i'll tell you later right so now you can see here if you see in a daily time frame have you seen i just connected most the recent higher point have you seen this was this was and i just connected three point here so we have seen a trend channel right uh, let's see in a four hour chart now we can see this is a four hour chart we have seen exactly they are forming a resistance near 200 moving average right and here 200 moving average and trend line uh, you can see this was trend channel they are placing in the same place but if you want to see previous market behavior like here we can see 200 moving averages are acting as a support and resistance have you seen this was a support and here you can see this is forming a resistance here exactly and here is a acting like a resistance and we have seen previous three time they are acting like a resistance and support right so we are looking for next here will be a strong resistance and support so we have seen uh, a retracement level near this area so let me draw a trend line uh, horizontal trend line so i just connected horizontal trend line here exactly have you seen i just connected here have you seen this one this area and this is called strong resistance in this line right so next you can see is it there any uh, moving average uh, where we can place uh, we can we can confirm in a dark uh, sorry daily basis so exactly you can see in a daily basis uh, just a minute let me zoom a little more you can see exactly in a daily basis we have seen a previous uh daily in daily chart uh, this is 50 moving average acting like a resistance resistance and similarly here also forming a resistance so that means 3997 is a acting as a strong resistance line right so let's see in a small time frame like four hour right now yeah so now you can see this is a four hour so we confirm that this is a strong resistance so according to me then let uh, let me use another indicator for fibonacci right fibonacci so if you see here is a point this is previous higher point and this is a b point and this is a impulsive wave we need a corrective wave that means <laughs> impulsive wave corrective wave impulsive wave corrective wave right so corrective wave we known as a retracement wave right so we need the corrective wave that means where is the c point we need c point where is the c point we are looking for a c point so now let me use a fibonacci i just connected the fibonacci have you seen this i just connected a point and b point have you seen uh, this is zero level I just connected here and this is B point and you can see I just connected in like 100 so now you can see we have seen here already they broke this 23 percent next they broke this 38 now just below in uh, 50 percent and now you can see exactly in a 60 percent that means it's a strong resistance right that is the last point of impulsive wave if they break this level so we are expecting they will retest this previous higher point right if remember if they break this level of 399 for at, at least uh, 4000 right if they break this 4000 level so they will retest again this uh, previous higher point this was previous higher this was previous higher and they will retest again and it is a high probability to reverse this market from this level toward 3678 right this is our range so we have to trade in this range right now so let me remove this uh, little more indicator 
okay we confirm it so let's go in a small time frame like a 15 minute have you seen this is a 15 minute time frame right so we have seen a range here this is the range so this was in a four hour this is a resistance line that means market was running like that running like that and doing a retracement have you seen this was a retracement in a this is h4 h uh, sorry h4 right they are forming like that and uh, this is 15 minute now 15 minute it should look like that right so if you want to enter for the buy direction i definitely i'll go for buy above this level above this 4000 that means uh where we told that this was a strong resistance if in case they break this resistance definitely i'll go for buy and it will retest the pbs higher point right so let's check it uh let me zoom then it will more clear have you seen this one right now you can see in a small time frame they are running like that they're creating higher high higher low higher high right so we are next target it might higher high will be here right so in a small time frame let in a four hour this is a strong resistance remember that means in a four hour uh, it's a, a resistance line so it is a high probability to reverse this market from this level so remember if they break this level this is the previous higher point like four hour they are testing twice already right now market is running like that it running like that if they break this level this level that means for our this level they will retest this level that means they will retest this level definitely i will start buying above 4000 remember not below and if uh, some people are waiting uh, for buy or sell so that that means if you want to enter for the sell direction you just wait a confirmation sell confirmation below this resistance line below this resistance line for the sell you can go for sell in this area in between this area i never gonna enter i never gonna take any position right in this area so this is called resistant area right so in this resistant area i never enter so, so buy if you wanna go for buy so i just waiting to break this 4000 level so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching